Hi guys and welcome to another Tea Together Tuesday. Um, Tea Together Tuesday, for those that are new here, um, is a creation from Teas with Jen and uh, Kimberly at uh, Teas That Wish Your Heart Make blog. And uh, they got together and decided to put the whole tea community together every Tuesday to answer questions. So today's question is not really a question, but it's like three tips that I would give to a new tea drinker, a new, a beginner at this tea journey. Well, I don't think I'm entitled to give anybody tips or, um, but, um, if, you know, if you come to me and say, hey, I'm brand new, three tips. I think tip number one would be do you, you know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Drink the tea that you want, the way you want to brew it, and don't worry about anybody out there. Um, I remember when I started drinking tea, there were some people that would be like, you're not a real tea drinker because you only drink bagged teas. Mm. Um, yeah, when I started, I was scared to venture to lose liver for quite a while, so everything that I drank was bagged. And to hear somebody make fun of me because I was drinking bag tea, I was like, uh, screw you, um, my cup, my mouth, my tea, my problem. Um, so that's what I have to tell you. Do you, if you, you know, there's no right or wrong way to do tea. There's only your way. If you're happy, I'm happy too. So do you. Um, second tip would be, you know, if you can and if you want to, explore loose leaf. Um, it took me a while to get into it, um, but once I did, it was a whole world um, out there that it opened all the doors for me. And uh, I do prefer loose leaf over bag tea, but this is my preference. Um, so if I can give you a tip is go explore, you know. Um, you're gonna see that it's not like, um, you know, it's not that big of a deal to brew because before I was like, oh, I'm gonna brew this wrong. There's no wrong way to do it either, you know? Because I remember after I was like very experienced with tea, I remember I met somebody that was brewing her green tea in a boiling water for a very long time and uh, my first instinct was to tell her that she was doing that wrong and then i'll stop myself and i actually look at her drinking that cup she was holding that smiling her face sipping that like it was the best thing ever and uh, before i told her that she was doing something wrong i actually asked her how's that cup do you like it and she's like oh yes i love this it's so good so why am I gonna tell her that she's doing something wrong? She's not, she's happy. She's drinking that green tea. It makes her happy. It doesn't matter if she overbrewed or if she used uh, a water that was too hot, she was happy drinking that tea. So it's not wrong at all. So there is not a uh, right or wrong way. There is the, the ways that they advise you to do so because you wouldn't taste better for some people um but do you you know i do follow the temperatures now before i didn't i didn't even have a kettle that used to change temperature but now i do and once i master brewing and getting to know all the leaves i find out that that was the best way to do it for myself but you know don't be scared and a tip number three would be share your passion. Um, and when I say share your passion, I'm not asking you to go make a YouTube video, a YouTube channel or Instagram page about tea, none of that. I'm asking you to have a sip of tea with somebody that you like, somebody that is um, important in your life. Like for me, for example, um, I don't think my husband realized that but he is my favorite person in this whole universe to share a cup of tea with. It is important for me and it makes me feel so good when I make him a cup of tea and we actually sit together and we don't even need to talk about anything. 
just the fact that he's sitting next to me drinking a tea sometimes is all that I need sometimes that makes my day much better um, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't he doesn't understand or even know that I, I ask him all the time hey I made this cup of tea do you want to try and then sometimes he gets bothered when I ask him to try that tea but I love tea you know and I don't share my tea with a lot of people if I'm asking you to hey do you want to try or can I make you a cup if I'm sharing something that is so that I cherish it's because I I love you in some way right <laughs> Uh, and I want you to have that delicious cup of tea. So share that. Have a tea with somebody that you love. It doesn't need to be a husband, a boyfriend, a mother, a sister, a dog. You know, whatever floats your boat. But to share the passion. Because for me, it, it makes a tea experience much better when I, when I get to share with him. And... Um, I don't know if he's gonna watch this video or not, but babe, drinking tea with you makes my day much better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's um, that's it for this Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you are new to tea, you know, if you wanna ask any questions, ask questions, ask a lot of questions, but don't let all of the tea snobs out there. I don't know much of them, but you know, if they do come to you and uh, tell you that you're doing something wrong, just don't listen. You're not. If you're happy, if you brew the heck out of that green tea and you love it, go for it. You know, there's no right or wrong in doing it. Um, if you're happy, I'm happy. So, um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.